listening to you two, you sound like a couple that's been divorced that are just good friends now and reminiscing about <laughs> <what's going> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hola, mis amigos. You're listening to Oh My God, Hi, Hijo de Dios. Hola. With me, George Lopez, porque sabes que let's do the show porque I got a lot of things to do. I got to go to that dry cleaner here by Kim Phelps. Se pegó la cabeza, I got to go get some Neo Spore, Spore and Paul. You know who George is? Oh, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. What's his name? George Lopez. George Lopez. Oh my God. OMG. OMG. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. Ever pull into the driveway after a trip to the grocery store only to realize you forgot that one key ingredient for dinner? Now you have options. Get the groceries you need or a backup meal from your favorite local restaurant delivered with DoorDash. What about if you forgot condoms and that night you were going <laughs> to... For a limited time, our listeners get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code OMGHI. Download the DoorDash app and enter code OMGHI for the... When CBD isn't enough and traditional THC is too much, enjoy the smooth buzz of Diet Smoke. You know, Diet Smoke delivers a balanced medium high and you know i'm going to tell you why i know it works because when i said balanced medium high i felt really good saying it like you know i had one before but just our, their product is highly functional thc that comes in the form of a delicious gummy but hide them from the kids or not i don't even fuck who your kids are Go to dietsmoke.com and use the promo code OMGHI. It improves your eyesight as well. Go to dietsmoke.com and use the promo code OMGHI for 20% off your order. That's OMGHI. And that's dietsmoke.com, promo code OMGHI for 20% off. So, so um, tell me about, let's talk about the new show. Yes. The new show is called? With Love. With Love. Mm -hmm. And it is when? It airs December 17th on Amazon Prime Video. Okay, great. That's good. Yeah, it's love. we Latinx people, we made it to rom-com. Like yeah. a whole family. And we never, like 30, how often do we love rom-coms? I know you Did were you in the New Year's Day. You were in that one, yeah. right? But there was only one of you. That's right. Okay, so we got the whole family, and it's rom com. There's a little bit of sexiness. Oh, you saw Emrod, right? You know rom com? What, no, romantic what is romantic 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 comedy. Oh, oh okay. Gail, I'm very sorry. Romantic comedy. Okay. Um, but, you know, Gloria Calderon Kellett, who wrote this series, is mm -hmm. brilliant. She's just, she reminds me of Anne, just like, ooh, she's like a mama bear. She's going to make everything wow, happen. That's cool. She is our 900 pound gorilla. She's so. Um, so smart and so you know she worked with norman lear on right. one day at a time wow yeah she she is a heavy hitter so she wrote these scenes then casted these people where literally they could handle drama and comedy right. and her scenes go from something super funny to something really heartfelt and dealing with a an intense subject and then it's funny again and all the actors it's just beautiful and every episode is a different holiday so, oh, oh, that's cool. And so we start with uh, Christmas, then we go to New Year's, then we go to Valentine's Day, then we go to uh, Fourth of July, and then Dia de los Muertos. So it's only a seven episode it's show? It's only five. It's only five? It's only five. Well, so this is the fastest show, I think, for Amazon as far as production. It was pitched in January, we shot it in summer, and now it's coming in air oh, in no December. Kidding. Let's pretend I'm the head of Amazon. <laughs> okay. How's that show coming along? <laughs> What's it called? With love? Oh, that's what the Latinos are. Hey, get them in and out as fast <laughs> as you can. Let's just do every holiday. <laughs> and then no. stop at Thanksgiving. They, they, <laughs> no, no, no. They, had to, they actually had to make a montage. Celebrity voice in person. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the president of Amazon? Um, they had to make a montage for some. They had to, because it was originally. So you guys eight. shooting seven different seasons, and when, it, as you go, do you do. You do Christmas and New Year's and in the same week, and then they put them together. Or no, no, no. one. So you follow the the Diaz family. Um, you see us at Noche Buena, um, Christmas Eve, and all the traditions and fun things that we do. And then the next time you see us, it's New Year's, and the next time you see us, it's Valentine's Day. So you see all the relationships progress 
over the months, over the holidays. Do you have a husband? Yes, Benito Martinez from The Shield. Is he as good a husband Plug as... Plug your ears, George. Is he as good a husband as George? <laughs> I take the fifth. What am I going to do? On that one. That's my better husband than me? Well, I haven't been around him 120 episodes. We've only done five. Give him a chance to grow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, where's the reboot? Until was, we reboot, I'm going to be with any I, other husband that they'll pay I me to be with. I had the reboot in, my, in the palm of our hands. You do? We had it. I know oh, what really? happened. Can we talk about that? Yeah, we're talking about after we talk about with love. Okay, yeah, okay. With so love. have you done them all already? No. Yes, we shot them all summer, all through COVID. Okay, it's brutal. So, do you watch Amazon? Uh, what was it called? Prime. Amazon Prime yeah. Video. Yep. So everybody that has an Amazon account, do they? We're there. If Are you they, have an Amazon Prime account, yeah. If you have Amazon Prime, you get part of the entertainment free. Yeah, yes. part of yeah. The yeah. You don't have to pay extra. That's what I have. It's part of it. Okay. Yeah. And there's a t- there's a, a billion things on Amazon, right? Right. Mm-hmm. right. Like you but, put you could put you it in know, anything. But you know what you can do is what's um, what's the easiest way to find shows you like? Just um, put I, you with know, love I don't or? know. Yeah, with love, and it comes up, and people are adding. We're asking people to add it to their watch list because that almost counts ah. as like a ratings okay, ahead right. of us Non-deal. premiering. Non-deal. And Non-deal. all five episodes are going to stream. They're all going to drop at the same time. So it's not coming back. You're not coming back next year. The okay. show's not coming back. Hopefully we do. Oh, so they'll go oh, again cool. another year? Oh, yeah, year. yeah. Well, yeah. if everybody watches if and do it does good. really if they well, do good. Oh, they'll do a year of the same, they'll but, pick it up. but new holidays? Yeah, why not? Martin Luther King Day. and You know some bad <laughs> shit happens every holiday. President's holiday. <laughs> 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 no, maybe we'll get more holidays. We'll get Groundhog Day. <laughs> Latin, uh, what do whole Latinos Groundhog do Day. during Groundhog Day? <laughs> does he wear a sombrero? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so so it's it's a continuous. If it went five yes. years, it would go with the yes. same cast. And the years. best part is that it deals with love in your thirties, single. Who's love. that couple in the thirties? So let's, let's go Emerald the... Tobia, play with my daughter. She's uh-huh. kind of trying to figure out love. My uh, she's son, a beautiful woman. Oh my gosh, she's fabulous, beautiful and she's young lady. funny, and she's sparkly. Like she breaks your heart and makes you laugh. She's she's got she's the full. She's great. She's is so that well the lady? Rounded. Is that the young lady that was with you at yes the... oh, okay. at the event? Do you remember? Oh. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> George was, I was like, oh, I think George Mother. is going to say hi to yeah, Emma. I'm old enough to be her friend. I, I, I didn't know. I, I asked my wife, and she says, well, I don't know if it was her real daughter or the daughter on the show. Hey, I'm not that old. Well, Do yes, you know I am. Have... Yes, I am. I take it <laughs> Tell back. Her yes, next I time am. she comes out, that's a respect. <laughs> no, no. So, Emma, but Mark and Delicado, that you might remember from Ugly Betty. He was the young kid in Ugly Betty. The one that was. Yeah, yeah, he's gay, and the best part is Thanks we have. Thanks for outing me. No, he's ah, gay. Ah, we have a gay. We have a. We have a. I've heard that grunt a lot of times. Did you know you that's know what, what I meant? I, you know I speak mean. all of his little sounds that he makes. I know what all of them that's mean. That's crazy. Huh? So, I just want to, just like, yes. See, I don't know what Benito's little under his breath. T- sayings are yet I know yours <laughs> so yeah um, we have a lot of AAPI AAPI would you put Asian. your five episodes with him up against my <laughs> our five <laughs> Shit. it's like when people used to say who's funnier Edward James Olmos or George Lopez and I'd be like what the what are you trying to do <laughs> to me of course not standing oh. next to me what are you trying to do to <laughs> hey, me I, I gotta go Edward. home to Edward each of these fuckers <laughs> I hope I didn't lose many of those <laughs> coin tosses <laughs> um, it is pretty funny though he can be funny. All right, so <laughs> moving right along. All right, so they, so they, are, is the family? They're all related, right? They're not friends and family. They're all. Family. Well, we have each of their relationships. Okay, and with their own individual families. No, no, it's all my family yep. and all my kids' boyfriends and uh, yeah, I guess boyfriends and the journey of their love. And then in the fifties, you know, all oh. of us who've been in long-term relationships. I think a lot of women in America are gonna be able to relate to this because, so you get the man of your dreams, you have your kids, you have your good business and you've been married like 30 years and then like, it's on automatic pilot. Like he don't care about you, you don't care about him. You're, you're friends, but you know, the magic's that, gone. But here. it happens. <laughs> no. Not you, have, Gil. Not that you. ain't true, brother. Yeah. Not you, Gil. <laughs> but in this relationship, it Mama does happen. <laughs> so my character kind of does things to rattle the cage a little bit um, that I can't say. And then we have Renee Victor and Pepe Serna. Do you know Pepe Serna? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what so are they playing? They're, 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 they're my parents. They're not the 50s. They're my parents. No, I'm the 50s, and they're my pa- love in the 70s. So it's pretty oh, wow. cool. Pepe Serna was auditioning. Uh, he he wanted to be uh, Gil Carrillo in, in, a, in a 
in Told a movie you. What? of your life? Yeah. Who did they get? Oh, Gabriel Iglesias? <laughs> <laughs> Danny DeVito. Hard. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a tough room. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's not tougher than any room that you and I have been in. Yeah, I know. I'm used to it. I have, like, scar tissue all over my body. <laughs> what are you drinking, water? We're yeah. drinking beers and drinking water. No, no. All right. You know why I look like this? Because I don't drink beers at, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, only once a It's like week. Vegas. There's no clock in here. <laughs> the, uh, and who played you? Who ended up playing you? Uh, a. Martinez. <gasps> I love A. He's a nice man. He's not. A, I don't love him as much as you, but a. I was. He's been around a long time. He's a I was, nice, I was nice on a man. Soap, and he had a brother who was a deputy. I think we can say that A. Martinez, I would say, is one of the Latino actors who is the most underrated. Yeah. Because I agree. what that guy did is he worked, I think, from the 70s. There were soap operas back then. 80s. He had, I was he on the was, soap uh, opera with him. Is that right? I, I, was, I was his the other woman in the A storyline on Santa Barbara. I was there for two years with and A. Martinez. He, he, was in, he had some cracks at TV, like main TV, didn't yeah. go very long. But he kept working. Yeah. And, you know, I but think But they weren't giving us shots back then. But he stayed in the, and he stayed he stayed in in the, the game. mix. Like, yes, like Pepe. Did. Yeah. You know, like, uh, uh, who was the other one? That, um, Sal Lopez, I just saw. Yeah. Like, they, sta- like some, they stayed in there. He did something well, when I met with him, because he was going to be me in a made-for-television movie. And he said, you know, they had me, they had my partner, Frank Salerno, being, you know, nice dresser, he says, and they had A. Martinez getting so suits off the rack and he says i'm looking at you and you know you're not a you're a nice dresser and the only thing i had him change was and it really came out good they had cops sitting in the car they had me sitting in the car with frank and we're eating donuts and i said i'll be honest with you i said i, I don't eat donuts you know did you guys ever cups. eat donuts did you guys ever eat donuts i never ate donuts i still don't eat donuts today i you know i'm not a sweet eater and i said you want to have me eat i don't mind you eating but hey, give me a taco, give me a burrito, mm-hmm. give me something. So the scene is, they're in the car. We have to watch that. And he's eating yeah. the burrito. Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, there you go. And, and, his, and you know A is going to want to make sure that it is yeah, true. And it's a burrito. And, and his partner, uh, who's portraying Frank, says, oh, really? And it was, hey, this is what Aztec warriors used to eat. Mm. Mm. It's the most beautiful thing of oh, all, you know, it, it self-contained. Yeah, there it you is. You can put to whatever go. you want in it to go. Exactly. You can eat and drive right. with it. And who played? Uh, did he get? He got the part. He got. He, and who he, played he, Frank? Jordan. There. He's, he's not dead. I want to say. He's oh, not I can't dead. remember. Oh, God. I can't remember his name. That's the way we talk. Topical, we go my friend who James. Is? I don't think he's dead yet. Uh, <laughs> no, he passed away. He, he, oh. I, I don't remember. You gonna pour a little beer out for him? Yeah. No. <laughs> for the brothers no. who aren't here. <laughs> So okay, so with love, with love, and who who were and what are the other ones? Go down now. Thirties and forties, fifties, sixties. So we've got thirty, we got thirties, fifties, and seventies. So Renee Victor, I met her. She plays my mom, mm-hmm. and she also plays my mom on my other Amazon show, Undone. Um, that's we shot season one, and then we're waiting for season oh. two to come out. Are you guys gonna get picked up? Well, we, we it, it's rotoscope. Yeah, thank no you. Problem. We rotoscope. We remember Scanner Darkly with um, Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder. Do you remember that? It's yeah. Uh, yeah it's it's that? hard to describe. I'll pull up an image. I only watch here, uh, but it, it basically they shoot stories on YouTube. <laughs> live action people, fools gone wild. That's what yeah. you do. <laughs> people falling down. <laughs> no, no, they turn us. They shoot live action scenes and then they turn us into graphic novels. Oh right, that's right. Yeah, like that. That's I from. Like that. Is that from Scanner Darkly? Maybe yeah, the uh, shot over oh. here with Keanu Reeves. Okay, we'll look up mm. Undone. It's oh, yeah. beautiful. So basically, it takes. You seen it? No, this, the only thing I watch, show them the art. Of the it. the oh, only yeah. thing I watch on sure. Amazon Prime right now is Bosch. I'm hooked on it. Oh, I remember. I didn't so get it. Is Bosch an LA, uh, see a LA LA Sheriff? LA, yeah, no, Cut. LAPD. Yeah. Is it good? I like it. Is it good? Yeah. All of it? You see? I auditioned for it. They didn't give it to me, so I don't watch. Who got it? Your, your sister? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Jacqueline Obedon? Oh, Jackie. Wow. I don't know. Is she? She did it, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, you good for her. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Really good or just good? It's good. Oh, I, I really like it. We're I want Bosch. good people to work. Nice people should always get jobs. That's that's my motto. Yeah. Yes. You know. Yes. I think I think I hate when the funky. You know how you know working. how real I kept. I tried to keep our show. Early on, there was an issue. I would say allegedly with Anne's sister, in in Fort Lauderdale. Hey, hey, lingerie. And then we came back, mm. and we made the show. 
her sister played by Jack Lee Oberdorf. Do you remember what her name was? Jackie Oberdorf. Jack, but what was her name on the show? Veronica? No, that was no. our niece. Um, okay, anyways, I, I can't remember. But this was taken out of a real situation mm. where I opened the door and Ann's sister was there and she it was like the middle of the day and I was like, hey, hey, lingerie. Because <laughs> <laughs> she was wearing lingerie, very revealing. And she opened allegedly, the door like that. Allegedly. So when we went back to do the show, I told Anne, of course, and there was that was a rough time, of course. But also, I used the the term when, in the show when she turned around George and she's in her lingerie. I went, "Hey, hey, lingerie!" <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite oh my lines when I come in. You go, "Hey, did you talk to your sister?" And I go, "Yes." She apologized, and then I gave her her hair back. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite you know, she, ones. They were always great, man. Oh, you know what? This show makes me laugh to this day. Like whenever people, you know, they they'll be wherever in some hotel, and they'll be like, "Look, we can't get away from you. You're you're always it, there." It, I'm, I'm telling oh, you, yeah. I was seven, six, seven episodes all night long. Couldn't sleep. Yeah. On a hotel. Uh, hotel yeah, TV. on the hotel. A lot of people say your show got me through really hard times. My daughter was going through a divorce. We were really upset, mm -hmm. and we watched it. And I just think, and it makes me laugh still. And Luna Marie, my daughter, it was not appropriate. Your she, would, she did not have a daughter right. while the show was on. Right. And we might have played, you know, if she had. I tried. It, it, my uterus would not cooperate. And if you had, I mean, we would have wrote it into the show, which right. would have been interesting. Right. You know, we talked, we did a little thing with a, a pregnancy type the thing. The false positive, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, um, so at what point did she start to understand that you were like in, in the business of well she had been on set since uh, she was two and a half right since i did switched at birth oh, I, wow. you know because right. it was 14 hours <laughs> i thought i was literally going to be put out to pasture on an abc family show as the mom it was going to be all about the kids yeah. and unfortunately it was not it was one of the hardest jobs i ever did i had to learn sign language i oh, worked wow. 14 wow. hour days and i had a two and a half year old baby and I would literally be at work at five in the morning and they would make these big long days for me and then we had like four hours downtime. So I'd drive back home to see my daughter wow. and then come back and shoot into the night. It was, I had two nannies. It was just, oh, it, was, wow. it was really, really hard. Man. So um, And that was up there in- uh, Santa Clarita. And you know, I did St. George up there and then I saw her up there. Uh, we hadn't seen each other uh, no. in a while. No, I yeah. came to say hi. It's, it's pretty cool, man. And bam, I was directing. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. <laughs> so whenever, whenever, um, it's like if you had been in a championship team and you see your guys from the other team and you guys were champions. That was, you know, you and Frank special relationship. Like we've tried to see constant. It's like, you know, yeah. being, I can see being I, part I, of I, I, something. I, are, you, are we short on time or what? Oh no, I haven't even started yet. I've done. Uh, we're, we're good. We, we talked done. about with love, Keep though, going. right? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, we had. Well, we'll talk more about it. So, PR so, will be happy. so what? So you seen? Have you seen all the episodes? Yes. What? Let's go through the. Let's go through the issues of each couple. In the first one is what they're in the thirties. Yes. When we have a guy who's been married here, Gil. Gil has been married <laughs> for over fifty years. So It'll let's see how the twenty sixth of December will be fifty one. Let's yeah. let's see how close love is to with love. Okay. Oh, real love. Starting okay. now. Okay. So in the 30s, right. the arc, who, are, who are the characters? Uh, Mark Indelicato plays my son, Jorge Jr. And then uh, Emerald Tobaya plays my daughter, uh, Lily. And she has the guy who's perfect on paper, but there's it's just not right for her. And she's trying to go through the motions. She's trying to figure it out. What does she want? Well, she's what your daughter-in-law, not your daughter. No, she's my daughter. Okay. And so she's struggling with that. And she breaks. Well, I can't, I don't want to give any, anything. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, and so then um, Mark uh, finds, like, an amazing, amazing guy for himself, but deals with all the self-esteem things of, like, you know, everybody's always looking for the perfect person. And then when you find the perfect person, you have to think you deserve the perfect okay. person. And there's all kinds of weird things get triggered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. 51, is there a perfect love, a perfect person, or do you take somebody that you connect to and you kind of find each other like a like a combination i got to believe that you you start and then you find and work out and it's but it's hey, not perfect in the beginning no, right no, but it if is. you hang in there 
right? People tend to give up as soon on relationships now where they think, oh, you know, this I isn't going to work. Today, everybody gives find, up. But if you find somebody who's willing to work with you and do the work, I think that's huge. Yeah. Anybody that says marriage is easy has never been married. <laughs> you know, that, that, that's it. Life you know. is not easy. No, and, Why and, would marriage and now be? I owe everything really to my spouse. I mean, she's she's the the glue that has kept us together. It was right. hard on her. Her I learned after the accepts ep- no financial rewards. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> after the documentary dropped, I had to apologize to her because I didn't realize how much fear she was really under. Oh right. my god! Yeah, I, I can't I was, imagine. I was totally focused on you know the case. Yeah. And her job was the house and the kids, and not till I saw the Ugh. the documentary. I don't know what they had planned I, I had to, to do with it, but watching the documentary, which is really about one of the most notorious serial killers of all time, but yeah. the stories of him and his family, and him knowing the girl and knowing the mom, yeah. and going mm-hmm. like, and I mean, that shit happens like in. Andy Griffith, like you, somebody takes their truck and he knows who it is. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I mean, this guy, all that shit, even the Night Stalker shit happened like almost right where you lived. <gasps> yeah, he. Right he, in there where you lived. We, we found some footprints around my house. Ooh. He had changed shoes and uh, he hit in Diamond Bar, which is a city. Which is way yeah, up there, man. It's yeah. way up there. Yeah. Yeah, five minutes away from my house, you know. So he, he hit all around. He went and, to your house? Well, we found some shoes. When we came back from. Uh, Oh, we were out in Orange County, uh, the last one he did, and we came back a week before his arrest, and when I came back, I found footprints, but it wasn't the Avia, he had changed shoes. Because they, yeah. And so, from that time, we got surveillance around my house, you know, taking care of me, but there were shoe prints there that shouldn't have been where they were and where they went, where they came from. Yeah. So, Uh, Diane Feinstein, if you guys haven't seen the Night Stalker, they they had done all this work in LA mm-hmm. but then they had heard that there was some conversation in San Francisco we went up to San Francisco we briefed them we told them what we were looking for and it was so important January 9th 1985 1,356 pair of model 440 of has landed in New York from Taiwan for distribution throughout the US six pair ended up in the state of California one pair ended up in LA and she put it out what? They tracked all that down because it was a certain shoe. Right. And they had only made 100. They they had they'd only three. delivered six to California. And they tracked it down to the one pair that they mm. sold in L.A. And then Diane Feinstein has a press conference and releases no, that the, no. they're looking for this shoe. Richard, no, and Richard will tell us later the shoes went over the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh. He got rid of them, and he changed shoes. He went to a Stadio, which was a different shoe, and those are the kind of prints that we had around my house. We didn't know the Stadio. He was using a Stadio. Oh, about that? He went to God, his house. Nobody knows oh, that. That's yeah, and, and he Wait, said, when can I see that's this? exclusive." When can I see this? Uh, it's on Netflix. Grant, is it? This exclusive yeah. content will not appear on called? any other. All these comments. What's it called? What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, Night Stalker. You haven't seen it? No. Hunt for a serial killer. Uh, Fucking half Mexican. Just, just take <laughs> Night. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Ramirez, I don't want to know anything about that dude. If you look, yeah, if, but now I know you. Yeah. Yeah, we'll watch yes, but, I'll watch the good part. But. It's is as compelling like his world and the other Frank was is still that way like he's not a guy that gets a lot of information out very close to just but he had his family so and especially in that area so there's really kind of two things what? going on the, the chase for this guy mm. but then this guy's in this detective's world like he's, right. they're in their world together yeah. right yeah and a lot of people didn't believe that what I was alleging one guy was doing all of it they was doing it. it they you know they had they. They so, thought it was, a, yeah, and they thought I was a young, young, young punk trying to make a name for myself. But you were a young guy. But you I was a young guy. You were you? correct. At that time, I was uh, thirty-four. Yeah, that's yeah. an elderly. Well, Mexican. actually, for you, no. <laughs> in a homicide bureau, that, really? that's yeah, very young. Yeah, yeah, All the that's, cycle that's of that's life, they're thirty-four. <laughs> yeah. I was so, the youngest guy also, there for the first seven years. But also back then, being like a Latino superstar cop, you know, trying to. Uh, I swear to God, we fight for every how about the, single how about inch the guy, we get. How about the guy that says this one person gets shouted down by all the other guys who have more experience than him right. by saying, it's two people, and they're all wrong. Yeah. Uh, and and he said they were, like, talking about he left the room. Yeah. And like, that yeah, 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 about. dismissive of your contribution. So the shoes, and you were right. So so she released that over there Diane. because that guy was watering the grass. He goes, what are you here for, the guy? Yeah. That, yeah. 
So just in passing, some reporters show up from L.A. That was a Peter Pan murder the, up there. And then the guy's watering the grass, and he goes, what are you here for, that guy that's drawing pentagrams on the walls? And uh, he was like, what guy? And they went up and asked them. I think they have video yeah. of them asking. And uh, they did not look happy when they walked out of the house and a, saw. That was a Peter Pan murder. If you ask me, it's still a Mickey Mouse case. Peter Pan. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, I didn't get that. Uh, Peter, Peter Pan, Pan, Mickey Mouse. Oh, uh, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Duh. I'm sorry. I can't track all the murders. Which one was Peter Pan? Uh, t- Tinkerbell? Yeah. Peter Pan, Tinkerbell. You ever see those uh, videos on YouTube when they do the, the explosions or fireworks at at Disney in the mm-hmm. castle and ghosts fly out of the castle like real ghosts no no you guys anybody that's see out there problem. that wants to check it out are they go- high are they high when no. they see the this ghosts is they, this is after they this is after they put deep are they? this is after they put sana sana <laughs> on them exactly. but, but no no I but swear you, to God I'm now I'm scared of that you see shit stuff. that that you won't see at fucking Knott's Berry Farm. My grandkids were watching. <laughs> <laughs> the ghosts at Disneyland are way better than Not Scary Farm. From the room uh, we were in last night, from, from the suite we were in last night, <laughs> yeah. my grandkids, six and nine, yeah. were watching Disneyland oh, the fireworks. fireworks? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Were they? Did they see ghosts? No. Good. Do you, do you agree with the 30s relationship of with love that those are the issues? It's modern day. Right. Because of the guy. Right. Okay. Now, what about what? It's so funny. We come back. We got the, the Night Stalker. I'm trying we to got the it, Peter Pan, the and then we go. Oh, well, let's talk about with love. And then, what's what's your relationship? So my relationship is, you know, that midlife thing where you've been with somebody for 35 years and you love each other and you're friends, but there's not really any passion. And you you talk about your kids together. You maybe work together. You run the house together, but it's really you take each other for granted. Gil, mm. does that happen? That's true. But you were still at, at, at times it does. It, at it thirty-five really does. years in, were you still working? Oh yeah, thirty-five. Yeah. Shit, I, I I retired twelve years ago. Oh shit. I, so what were the hours? What what are the detective years ago. hours? Yeah, the the hours were whatever the job demanded. Homicide is not a job; it's a lifestyle. Yeah. So whatever the job takes, my even my wife knows if they but call when, if when they called me up at three in the morning because some somebody wants to talk in the jail. Right. Now's the time to get up and talk. Don't wait until nine in the morning. Every morning that you got up, where did you go to first? Uh, right. Wherever you needed to go, or <laughs> oh, I mean, where did you go to second <laughs> after I used, breakfast? I used to meet my partner at Starbucks. You know, cool. and, and my my partner is my best friend, and it's like is you know, Frank? you get up in the morning. Was that Frank at that time? Yeah. Okay. Not not Salerno. Frank Gonzalez. Okay. Frank Gonzalez, and, and he was from the body. You know, we had so much in common. We were brothers. And I drive down a Pomona freeway and there's bumper to bumper traffic. And I tell everybody, it's like going to Disneyland. You know, your kids want to get up. They want to be the first ones in. You get up, you hate it, and you start driving. You're in traffic. Blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, you see the D for Disneyland and parking, you know, and G for Goofy. So all of a sudden, you perk up. Well, I'd be in bumper to bumper traffic. I'd see the Atlantic off ramp, mm. and I start wow. to perk up. That's... Get the Starbucks right up the street. Hit my part, man. We're there. Wow. We run all day long. We'd work whatever we had to do. Mm. Hey, get a little hungry. Time to grab something to eat. And as we grab something to eat, we work some more. We keep going. Then pretty soon, hey, you know, we're done. There ain't much to do. It's time to go home. So, time to go home. We get back in that. Get back in that freeway. So it's different every day. Every, every day. day, every, every, every day. Is, okay. So every your relationship. Different. You've been with your wife for how many years? Yes. Thirty-five years. And <laughs> at any point, does your wife say, you know, Frank, we need more us time. Frank, we need to do Gil. this. I'm. Um, I'm sorry. Gil. <laughs> no, Willie Frank. Is, <laughs> no, yeah. we talk about That's Frank. Why, He's hey, like man, a real sorry, person sorry, here. Sorry, <laughs> Frank, <laughs> Frank, Frank, Frank was Sancho. Please put it back. No, but I'm saying as far as the relationship, like with love, like the only thing my wife asked me. During the relationship at the time, I was a, uh, I was pretty, I love playing softball. Mm. Just like I love coming here because you come in here, you forget about all the problems that are outside this little room. Right. Not me. You play softball. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> almost died in my audience on Saturday. You didn't hear that? Really? No, but it is like no, Vegas. There's no clocks we, in here. We, we, we're cutting that time out. Time stands still. San Antonio. We, 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 uh, <laughs> you go play softball. And all the problems are gone. You, you're playing ball. Right. Well, my wife was complaining because I was playing three days a week. Mm. Yeah. And hey, how about a little more, you know, us is that time. your free time? Yeah. Us time, you yeah, know, for the yeah. family. So I did. So I cut it down to two. See? And, but and you listened. I think that works, yeah. You yeah. listened. We, we, and some yeah. men 
She's and, tough. She's and, from the bottom. No, you, but, you but some listen. men don't <laughs> listen. Look, I can speak from personal experience. When the look, the first person who knows it's not working is the woman, usually, and oh, and she will most definitely. That's a great one. She will most definitely <laughs> tell you. Wow. what's not working and what needs to happen. Now, some men choose to be like, no, 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 it's fine. Be all distracted no. or whatever. Those are the guys who are always cause completely shell-shocked when she leaves. Right, yeah. She's been working on this thing for two years, and when she's done, it's done. So I'm, almost like a detective would be... But Gil was smart. He said, okay, I, I I'll listen. spend more time. Like I'll a cut detective back would be like walking and go, what are you going to give me today? <laughs> Uh, can you give me a name? I can't give you a name. Can you give me an area? Can you give me a day? Can you only play? No, uh, she'll tell play? you. I did have. I but did have a big deal one, one, one time. At, at one day, and I was Frank was my partner, Salerno, mm -hmm. and <laughs> no, you know, my wife separate, knew separate. that partners did everything together. So it was a Sunday afternoon. Frank called me up and he says, "Hey, listen, I got some stuff I got to do at my house. I know we're first up. You get a murder, give me a call. I'll roll from home." I said, "Not a problem." So a case came in, and it wasn't a murder. It was an officer-involved shooting. So the lieutenant said, hey, we're going to give it to these guys. He says, call Frank. You know, you guys will have the assist. And he says, where's Frank? I said, well, he's at home. He asked me to, you know, I'll just call him. He'll, he'll roll from home. He'll meet me there. And he said, well, let him stay there. Do what he's got. Roll out with Dave. He's here. So I rolled out with somebody else. Yeah. Okay. So I'm out there Sunday afternoon, <laughs> and my Frank calls my house later on that afternoon. He says, Pearl, can I speak to Gil? And he said, well, isn't he with you? And then Frank starts to stutter because Frank doesn't know where I'm at. <laughs> oh. Oh. And he's already prepared to cover for he's you. Right? To cover oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and she just, he, he just told, well, whenever, he, yeah, he probably went out with somebody else, but whenever he gets there, just have him give me a call. <laughs> so my wife, because we had pagers in, beavers. Ooh. right? So I get a page and I call the officer and say, hey, call your wife at home. So I called my wife at home, and she says, where are you at? And I said, I told you, I rolled out on a case. I'm working. And she says, oh? <laughs> she says, why is your partner calling you at home? Oh, shit. And for sure, I'm, because we didn't have cell phones, I'm calling from a phone booth right there. Right. And I said, uh, hey, listen, dear. I said, are you by the television? She says, yeah. I said, put on Channel 7. Oh, there you go. That's a good alibi. I said, put on <laughs> Channel 7. I said, you see Henry Alfaro talking out there doing a live stand-up? She says, yes. I said, look across the street at the phone booth. Who's in the phone booth? <gasps> and she goes, oh, that's you. <laughs> and I said, I told you I'm working. If I tell you I'm working, I'm working. There, anyway, coming out. I got to go. There you go. And so she knew that Damn. I was really working. I went lying. There it is. And my daughter, the one that's going to be 50 tomorrow, said, you know, mom, dad could be out any place. Just tell you to do it. You have to take it. She was an understanding woman. Yeah. She's a strong woman. But you were smart enough to listen to her when she needed something. I, I hope so. And lucky uh, enough to no, have a camera crew. Really lucky enough area. to have Henry Alfaro right yeah, there yeah, doing yeah. the stand-up. <laughs> that's no, crazy. That's you got back-to-back -back meetings, errands to run, and chores to take care of. What's the secret to clearing the to-do list? A little help from DoorDash. You can get dinner, household essentials, and everything on your grocery list delivered. What do you want to eat tonight? Maybe you want a cooked favorite, but don't feel like going to the store. Or you want something exciting and new, but it would be great to stay in tonight. DoorDash connects you with everything you want whenever and however you want it. Get what you want to eat right now and right to your door with DoorDash. Along with restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essentials items delivered with your DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. Craving late night ice cream? Forget that one key ingredient for dinner. Or maybe you just need to stock up for the week. With DoorDash, get everything in one app. For a limited time, our listeners will get 25% off and zero delivery fee on your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code OMGHI. That's 25% off, up to $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code OMGHI. Don't forget, that's code OMGHI for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change and terms apply. You know my problem with edibles? Sometimes you get so high, it can really be difficult to control the dose. There's nothing worse than being baked out of your mind when you didn't plan on it. And you know, once you eat it, there's no going back. You just sit there suffering stoned out of your mind. That's why when I need the perfect medium high, 
I hit up my friends at Diet Smoke for their delicious Delta H THC gummies. Delta 8 is simply a slightly less potent THC. The THC you're probably not familiar with is Delta 9. And while both are natural to the cannabis plant, Diet Smoke product extracts their Delta 8 from hemp. Some may call this a loophole. I call the secret recipe to getting smooth, stable, and most importantly, legally high. Diet Smoke is legal in most states and non-prescription. Just check Diet Smoke's website to see if they ship their delicious gummies to your state. So when CBD is enough and traditional THC is too much, enjoy the smooth buzz of Diet Smoke. Go to dietsmoke.com and use the promo code OMGHI for 20% off your order. That is OMGHI, dietsmoke.com, promo code OMGHI for 20% off. Diet Smoke Delta 8 THC gummies are not for use or sale to people under the age of 21. Please use responsibly. Don't be like me, enjoying your life. More with Diet Smoke. Just for the buzz of it. Just for the buzz Diet of it. Diet smoke. It's the thing about love in the 50s. Like, and my character does, my husband doesn't listen to me. And um, and I do things <laughs> that, I, that I cannot <laughs> okay, confirm so, nor deny. Okay, so, all right. Spoiler. So, it's a, it's a bit of a departure for you? No, it's not. Um <laughs> Uh, for for me as an actress, yeah. Uh, no, as a character, no, as a character. So you no. go out in the town, and like, little... <laughs> <laughs> uh, right? Oh, I can't give like it away. Like Chandler Vogel. Oh, Do you Spencer remember Vogel? Spencer Vogel? <laughs> Chandler, I watch too much Friends. Uh, <laughs> Spencer Vogel. Yeah, that was another good one. Huh? Yeah, there's there's <laughs> so there's things there's controversy, okay. but the best part for me is. Not only it just shows should couples watch together, or will the guy be there? Like, yeah, can I watch this just, with my wife, or am I oh, going to be? Well, well, are they going to look at you and go, "What the fuck"? Uh, I will tell you, no, 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 it's not that bad. I mean, it's still a rom com, romantic mm. comedy. So, um, but there is some sexy time in there, and it's not me; it's the younger uh, kids. Um, and but not full nudity, though. No, 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 you don't see it. Uh, uh, but it's it's funny. I right, mean, I'll it's sexy watch. time. It's sexy <laughs> time. It's funny. We do have some. Not that it's going to be lost on you guys, but we have some topless hunky men that are going to be in the show. <laughs> All married. Damn it! I know. I asked. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you're not. You don't want to get married, do you? Uh, um. Is it because wait, I made it this far without getting no, married? I don't no, but you said you know early when you got here, you said I'm a child of the of what? 70s. 70s. Yeah. Um. Would you think you would get married, or do you not? I mean, I mean, you have people with you, but you never decided to get married. Um, I think because it seems so antiquated, you know. I know, and at this point, you because know, the rules still apply in marriage, even though the times have changed. What rules? You know, honor uh, what the vows. Yeah, because the vows were love. Don't they say still say in obey? Sickness and yeah. in health don't until. Death, the, well, I'm not like a hardcore yeah. Catholic or anything. My balls you could don't say them. that. <laughs> well, that's why people change the vows because the ones from the. The church are pretty, you're almost like, hey, they're pretty I strict. Can't, Ooh. Dude, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, terms. that's too much commitment for me. Um, no. Um, but if somebody were to write their own vows, you could write right. what you wanted from the other person. But I see, guess. I've been single so long that, you know, but I've been in long term, my, my, where the father of my daughter, I was with him for 18 years. Yeah. So that's like a marriage. Um, I, I've been, I'm on this side of it and I've seen what, 50% of them don't work. So um, I don't have very many illusions of how romantic it's going to be, and I don't need a big fancy wedding or any of that. It, I think it'd be nice. I'd take a shot at it, but it would be completely different than anything that I had ever heard. And before. dating? Do you date? Oh my god, dating is brutal. <laughs> COVID. Nobody was meeting anybody during COVID. Okay. Yeah. So and all the crazy exes came out of the woodwork. Yeah. And you're like, well, you know, they don't look too bad. <laughs> yeah. Are you COVID free? Um, but yeah, it's it's, it's 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 hard, you know. And in this business, it's, people was, understanding what we do. I was fortunate in that I I grew up. My parents had a long term relationship. Sure. Yeah. And did you her, ever see them uh, fight with each other, like yelling? Oh yeah, them? yeah. Well, not really fight. You know, there, there was because I think back know. then there was respect, like you wouldn't do it in front of the kids. Yeah, they, I mean, right, they right, did right. not in front of like that. Still was yeah. a big a big thing. Right. I, and so they didn't do it in front of me and my adult sisters 
they they would argue in front of my younger sisters. Oh, why? And I, I don't know, but I finally had to tell them. I sat them down, and I by this time I was already an adult. I was a cop. Yeah, yeah. And I said, okay, listen, this is the way it's got to be. You know? Yeah. Uh, you're going to be fighting like that. You're stressing out my younger sisters. If you can't get along, wow. get a divorce. Right. But oh, well, not, good work, for you. Work things out, you know, because this can't be. If not, I'll take the kids. If they want to live with me, I'll take them with me. Damn. Don't, you, don't, don't do play. this. And, and how old were you then? I was probably uh, my son. What the fuck are you cutting My son. Uh, <laughs> my my son is now. He's gonna be. He just turned forty five. I could still date him. Forty four. Married. He just turned forty four. <laughs> is he married? And and he was because I was talking to him because he was just getting ready to be uh, born. Oh and damn! So it oh. was that long ago. And so I talked to him, and they ended up staying together. They worked things out, and. Whatever it was, her parents were they were long term relationships. Are today's are today's jobs more stressful than our parents' jobs? Is that a good question to my like my, my grandmother went and did the same thing every day. Right. That's the way my dad right. was. Yeah. My parents were the same way, you know. Was their everything jobs was more stressful than it was most be... important work to my parents and to her parents. Well, except for her mom. Her mom wouldn't work. What you mean in the home? Nobody no, seemed to be out, as, outside the home. Uh, as dysfunctional as the people are today. Well, yeah. honestly, I think, look. Like you no, only saw one, maybe a dude yelling in the middle of the street, like maybe twice a year. Fuck right, well, I, bl- I blame Ronald yeah. Reagan for that because he closed all I the saw, facilities, uh, the mental health facilities. I saw facilities. a guy on Santa Monica and Western who was mentally ill mm-hmm. yelling at people in their face and chasing people. And it's not that guy's fault, but for safety of all the cities, that mental illness, like nobody right. looks towards right. the homeless people mm-hmm. who right. are mental, like that, and violent. Right. And then the other time I told you guys that that guy was chasing that guy with that stick, like a pole. Oh, he was. So that's two times. I came in and told the first one. And I said, I grew up here. I never saw that. So that guy Mm -hmm. on the loose, like yelling at moms with their kids at the bus stop is. Well, I went with Luna Marie. We went to the post office the other day. And there was a woman, obviously homeless and mental health issues. Uh, big mental, she had big she mental, she had big <laughs> mental she, health issues. You know, I always she's, ask that question, right? She, anyway, she's screaming. How big? big. She's I, I know. <laughs> no, she's screaming that she we'll wants that her mail. Like, oh. and Luna Marie is, is... Is she in the, in the actual post office? She's in there okay. screaming at the top of her lungs, and she's cussing a blue streak. And Luna Marie was like, wow, she had some very creative insults, like, you badass bacteria motherfucker. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, I go, she, she, she recorded it because she thought it was the best oh insult ever, badass bacteria motherfucker. Okay, and, I think badass bacteria motherfucker. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That could be the episode favorites. title. Huh? Right, but so she, uh, she was exposed to that and I was like darling that woman has mental health issues she needs help she should not be homeless she now should, as a she rapper should. maybe I, I was working for uh Wait, why did you get started on this department of children's services walking de- driving down <laughs> sixth street from? through skid row area they're all nuts you know out yeah, in the street yeah, yeah. doing stuff like that I didn't say they were nuts I said that you know there's mental illness out there right well, well mental, growing this up that we're not it looked like a, a, a bunch of it was mostly related to drugs you know, the yeah, stuff that they were doing. Okay, can you oh, put yeah, it out do. there that we want people to call from wherever they are or listening to and whatever city they're at and, and let us know what the homeless situation is wherever they are. Oh, yeah. Well, COVID just exacerbated I mean, that like there's crazy. Some, there, there's like villages set up everywhere the, all in over In Westwood. The sure. We yeah. have it at the VA. Uh, at the VA. But I grew up Which is sad here, to me because right. they're on the outside of the fence. No, they not just, on the no. inside. Now they put them on they the inside. Villanueva moved them. Got got a oh, deal said. and moved him inside yeah. the fence. He also cleared Venice Beach. Yeah, and he got the homeless out of court. there and not oh. not bad. Not taking everybody. Found them found places. Them the place. And they have those little the tiny homes there. They have the yeah. tiny homes. Remember we said that I went to that dinner over there at, at, at my th- yeah. and uh, they were all on the street when they should. Voltaire have been. did not pay for that endorsement. <laughs> 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 no, but she's good. I, but I remember, I remember. But one of the, for me, you know, because I drive by there all the time, I was thinking, and here they have a proudly displayed American flag on there, and I'm just thinking that is, that is horrible. I mean, yes, there's pride in America, yeah. but the fact that this is how we're treating mm-hmm. vets sure. and people that need care, and and they still have the the flag in like one of the greatest countries in the world. You know what? They are being mistreated. That's a very good point that you said. They're being mistreated every day. Their illness is not their their sores and their the way they feel and their mind. 
and uh, they still fly the flag, yeah. man. Yeah. What a, what a good point that is. Yeah. They still they don't fly it upside down like I did on my wall special on HBO. <laughs> we should be embarrassed though that this we is how we're taking care yeah. of them. It's not right. And I and we should be here. embarrassed with the way that we treat teachers and their salaries too. Oh, like, yeah. There's some like yeah. you talk to a teacher and she'll tell you what she does and then you're like, well, how do you like live? Mm. So during the LA teacher strike, remember when they were striking? Mm-hmm. I remember I was downtown. Um, uh, at the market, the Grand Central Market, and some what of What do you the, go down there for? I, I've been. They have vegan ramen. Oh, okay. Well, and the what. best vegan donuts at Donut Friend, and this was not a paid endorsement. And what time do you go down there? Well. What time do you, can you go down there? I try to go in the daylight because it's jacked up after the nighttime, and uh, <laughs> as a single woman, it's not good. But I remember being down there and. You've the, been there, Gil, the Grand Central Market? Years ago. I haven't oh, been there in so years. Oh, it's so good I gotta now. go, man. What the fuck? They have a place never, called never... Egg Slut, and they make oh. the greatest... Is there an see? Egg Slut down there? I've been yeah. to... I love yeah, yeah. Egg, egg Slut. Hey, I've never who is this slut? Let's go over there. <laughs> egg Slut. Egg Slut. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that's great. So that and Grand Central Market has Ramen Hood, which is the vegan ramen. So amazing. But anyway, I was There's down there talking... There's only one Ramen Hood in the, in the whole... In, all, in LA, and it's down there? I've never seen another one. Let's see. Oh, look, Google that. Ramen. But anyway, the teachers. Sells from the rich and gives the, it to the poor. The L.A. teachers were telling me that something like 80% of the kids in the L.A. county are below poverty level. Oh, man. They're and homeless and stuff. Yeah, and you're thinking They're... that is a statistic that nobody knows. Mm-mm. And those teachers are trying to teach these kids. It's and brutal. The minute, the minute that California voted on the lottery and the lottery passed, yeah. and they said that a portion of whatever the lottery was going to go, gonna to, go school? to schools, it fucked all the schools up. Like, I don't think the schools have ever been the same. LAUSD, nobody wants their kids to go to public school. Do they give the money from the lottery to the... I don't know, but it doesn't appear like it. If you had to build charter schools, you were building charter schools because you felt like your kids weren't learning in that school, so you made a charter school. But when I was growing up, the U.S. uh, LAUSD was... The, the 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 way you modeled the public school system right. for the country right. and then it just went down which is hard to think like right. over there at San Fernando Elementary when I do the toys and all that stuff mm-hmm. a couple times early on I would say what do you guys need you know and they're like uh, you know I got, well, no what do you need we need like paper yes. copy paper fucking pencils, pencils mm-hmm. yeah fucking yeah. Ball, basketballs and right. soccer balls right. and you're just like man this for and if you were to give if you were to go sub, if they were to submit it and go through the system, it takes forever. Yeah. And teachers pay for it out of their own pocket. Yeah, they pay for yes, it out of I mean, that's not, it's that's sad. not right. It's sad. It's tragic. And not just here, but teachers everywhere, which is, you know, as rude as kids are. No, we're talking to somebody in Atlanta and the kids, man, they're crazy. Yeah. Man, the way they talk to They had a t- TikTok challenge slap a teacher. Oh, no. And then, I remember seeing <laughs> some see teacher who was like, she was like, oh, hell no. And her TikTok, she was like, Taking her earrings <laughs> off, putting Vaseline. She's like, little motherfucker, come over here and slap me. And he's going to see what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, she was like not kidding around. But I mean, they, they, they're they responsible <laughs> for the education of future generations of American citizens. I mean, there could not be, a, other than doctor and not the dude from Kaiser, but a more responsible <laughs> job yep. for the future of America. Mm-hmm. And it's so underfunded. It's awful. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. So. And okay, so is it when is it the seventeenth? <laughs> With love, December seventeenth. Put it on your watch list. Amazon Prime on, Video. Put everything, yes. all the shows you like on the watch list. Yes, my guarantee. Done. Of uh, Yay, done deal. Thank yeah. you, Gil. And what is is it? So you say it's happy and it's sad. So, yes. it's, so what would you what would you equate it to a show that is thirty uh, something? No. You know, it reminds me of the movie Love Actually. Yeah. Without the porn storyline. Do you I never saw that? Love Action. There was a port. You never saw Love Action? <laughs> George! Oh, it, it is a Christmas George, you have holiday to, That should classic. be a Christmas movie. You need to watch Love Actually. It's so... It, have you seen Actually, it? Actually, I haven't seen it. I wasn't allowed to watch it no. when I was younger because of the because porn storyline. Story. <laughs> There's a porn storyline in Love yeah, Actually? But it's, but it's the, handled the one was, uh, so lovely. Oh, There's yeah. Kira Knightley's in it. Yeah. Um, that other English actor who is Hugh, in... Is Hugh Grant? No, no. Yes, Hugh Grant is in it. But the other one, Colin... Firth? No. Colin Firth. The other Colin. Oh. There's two Collins. Calling all cars. I can't remember what his last name is, but it's such yep. a feel good, fun movie, and all these, you know, and it's that that basically is kind of dealt with love. I mean, it's a little bit different, but this is kind of one family dealing with love. What traits does Luna Marie have that you have? What do you look at her and say? I think body type, because she's tall. You're pretty yeah, tall. Yeah, I'm not tall. I'm only five foot five. How tall is she? She's already an inch taller than I am. Oh, yeah. And she's 12. 
No. Uh, yeah, like yeah. A dancer, like she could be. A... Yes, but she's more of an athlete. I mean, I'm like fascinated that she didn't come out because you know, dancing is my life. But she was more of an athlete. I, I, it's so funny. Is I don't think we're very much. What is she the into? Same. What does she like to do? Um, she's acting now. She's done two series, and I'm. Oh you yeah, know, you said. I, I, I was, was reluctant. Not, I, I was very reluctant because sure. I wanted her to have a degree. She wanted to be a dermatologist. I was like, "Go, sweetie, you be a dermatologist. You keep Mama young forever. You invent your own <laughs> line of sunblock, your own line of makeup. You have your own." And she, I was like, "Yes, let's do that." And then she discovered in, during COVID musical theater and the George Lopez show. She had never seen it until then. I showed her one little clip because when we went to your weed party, I was like, uh, oh. "She needs to know what this guy that you know." Who this this man is. This is where we're going. This is a trip. Yeah, it's a trip. Yeah, so then during COVID, she she's was old weed. enough to deal with, yeah. you know, some of the topics. And she's, you know, that dysfunctional parenting in this episode where we talk about sexually transmitted diseases. I mean, it's a lot of stuff for oh, an 11 yeah. year old. So and that one, uh, the one we talked about, sexually transmitted disease, was I think my housekeeper had a kid that was, you know, 14 and they showed pictures of disease to try to scare them out. Where's oh. my VD? And Where's my that, syphilis? We did that. We did that on the show. And remember the lady went, ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, we were, and you were like, wow, that color, that red really pops. <laughs> it was so nasty. With the new printer. Yeah, I mean. But so I that, was a big, that was a big episode, though, yeah. because we did that about sexual And then we did one where. Bullying. And then the uh, steroids we did was a big one. Oh, about, right, right. Like, body play baseball with right. steroids was a. We did some good things. We yep. dealt with uh, the pedophile who moved into the neighborhood. Yep. And One of my favorites. A woman. Um, I did the guy on the mini bike that rode up and down the street when I was growing up. <laughs> this fucking kid used to ride a mini bike up and down the street. We would chase him. Yeah. So I put it in the show at the end okay. of the scene. The mini bike and we chase. We all chase him down the street. That's so Great. funny. I know. So so we 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 did some really really <laughs> really interesting episodes. All right. So she didn't discover George Lopez until COVID. And then she discovered musical theater in COVID, and then That's she like decided you, yeah. she wanted to do musical theater. And I never did musical theater. I never sang. Um, but it's almost a little bit of a hybrid of dancing, and then you. Yeah. Made a lot of so music. so she just became obsessed, and then I did that show Undone, and it was so so low budget. We were in a room like this, and it was casting, Man. it was makeup, it was hair, it was cast holding, and she came to visit me, and Linda Lamonti, the casting director, said. Would she be interested Ooh. in reading to play your daughter in flashbacks? Uh, and I was like, uh, I don't think so. Oh, and wow. and she and said, in the background, well, she's like, yes. wow. No, and I said, well, you know, because wow. I thought, oh, here I am being a hypocrite. This is my kid knows this. This is her world from the time she was wow. two. So okay, fine. So I did yeah. you ever think about saying no? Oh, I said no, and then I asked wow. my her dad. And he was like, well, she's not in competitive sports. She should know what it's like to feel some rejection, you know, not to, well, I was like, fine. So let me see. I take her out to lunch and I say, I tell her I'm going to have to audition with how all you, these how, how other actresses to play my daughter. So would she run lines with me? She had run lines with me before. So she's running lines with me and we're at Cafe Gratitude and over in Larchmont. And um, in the middle of while we're doing the scene, she puts the paper down and goes, mom, can I audition to play your daughter? Wow. And I was like. Let me ask your dad. <laughs> uh, I thought for sure he wow, was going to say no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he had already said yes. <laughs> and so I was like, no, serious, this is really real. And then he said, yeah, let her try. So I was like, fine, fine. You know, what else is she doing? So it was summertime, wow. and I said, make eye contact and enunciate. Those are the only notes I gave it's her. True. And she went in, and they loved her. <laughs> and then they were like, well, they're going to show the producers. They loved her. And then, like, we're going to submit it to Amazon. I'm like, oh, God, I got to bring her dad on board. Like, this could really wow. be a thing. And she ended up getting, which was supposed to be just one episode, and it ended up being five episodes. Okay. And she had to do stunts and learn sign language and do a deaf accent. Oh. And she was all over it. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, so well, the universe is not working, mm -hmm. was conspiring against me. No, but I applaud her for being able to do all that. Pretty, oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't want her to be some little punk who thinks that she can be, go on Disney and be a <laughs> Disney. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like Debbie Allen in fame. This is where you do it. The sweat, the blood. Man. You need to know your script. You need to backwards and forwards. You better show up. You better be polite. Tell me Shane from the bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is. Oh, no, she's got a little hood. There's a little hood in there. My mom was bad. She went to Fairfax High. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But my mom, Garfield High, East L.A. Bulldogs. Go back. Yeah, my grandma, my dad as well. So my mom... 
brought East LA with her to the West Side. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming by. Oh my God! I can yay. see you coming by in the future. I think today oh, yeah. was awesome. This, oh, was this was a real pleasure. Wait, that, I'm, and I'm only ending it because it's probably two hours already. Well, yeah, no, we're, we're coming <gasps> right up on two hours. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, Damn, remember no you, you went, how did we it. start? And then you go, when did we start already? I didn't I said, even yeah. know we started. It's just part of the magic, you know? Wow. This was a great one. It this was. was like, this one was great. It has a lot yeah, of I mean, stuff in it. So fun to watch you guys catch up because it was yeah. clearly. Well, we but I could see you. I could see you being in here. Really? Yeah, fuck you. Don't you? Come on down, yeah. Because you brought a whole nother, like, me and him... That thing, but you also brought a thing from a feminine side that we don't. Yeah, you guys don't, don't have, have women in here very often. <laughs> no. Either they, is there like a reason they don't come no, no. in here? Are they scared? Just we the did, sign on the uh, door. And we haven't even. I haven't Liza, really, Liza was in here. We haven't even. Manelli? No, <laughs> no. I'm kidding. Other, I'm kidding. Well, but I haven't reached out to anybody like my friends. I ain't come down. Like we're just like, eh, but we'll start to. Do that, but you were great. Yay! Thank it was you. Awesome, man. Funny. Thank you. I, well, when I was, I watch you guys, and I'm like, hey. Hey, Porch, can I come down here and can yeah. we talk about, you know? I mean, and we never get to talk because it's always no. like in an event and it's loud and the press. But this is the way we talk. The way we did it today is the yeah, way yeah. that you and I talk. Yeah. And you saw that the podcast on a lot of people's Spotify is that it's done well. Oh, people yeah. People love it, yeah. yeah. Is it real? I don't do Spotify. I'm old school. No, oh, you can listen to it wherever. I'm Pandora. People, We're on every really, podcast app. They really like this. I think, I, I don't look at the numbers, but. Really? I think they do. Yeah. Awesome. So, Great. wait, but okay, question. And it pays. Is Oh My God High, it has its own site, right? It's its own um, w- it's channel on, on YouTube? YouTube? Go on YouTube. Is that what it is? Oh, so, yeah. yeah, so the episode, the video episodes come out on the ATC channel, because this is through All Things Comedy, the podcast network. Oh, okay. Um, so that's where the videos come out, but then the podcast themselves, they all have their own feed. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, where do pod, I find it? Wherever, so any podcast app, whatever you I have. I don't listen to podcasts. Oh, do you, I, um, I'm a single mom, and I work all the time. I, they, I, I look them up on YouTube. Yeah, okay, YouTube so is great. YouTube. If, you do, if you do OMG High George Lopez, Or I it'll see come it on up. your yeah. Insta. Yeah. Or you can watch them on Instagram. Yeah, we, we put But it's doing good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Especially whenever we have well, fun it's going to do People even better it. because I'm here. I think. I think. It was, I mean, this is that was a real easy. It was, one. It was funny. Yeah. So, I mean, we left was, a lot of we left a lot of stuff out. I was oh just goodness. awestruck. The, the, the stuff that's coming out about you, Constance. It, it's it was beautiful. Yeah, I but then no your whole Frank and Frank and you and oh, that, that, yeah, the I burrito. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know that you shot that other show for like fucking how long? Yeah, that's well, you did well because I didn't want to. Nobody and nobody told me. Yeah, yeah, because you would have been mad. Yeah, you would have been. You want everybody. Here's the thing. Everybody <laughs> wanted the focus to be on their show. And right. if there was of ever course. a chink in my armor or I was ever not bringing it, that would be the first thing that they right. would blame. So right. I was like, oh, I don't want anybody to know anything. But Greg knew about you because of that. Did you think it was hard to do our show for that long or was the writing? Oh, my the God. The writing I was loved always it. great. I lo- you know, the, I never. Oh. The, between the audience and you and the family that we built together, it was, I remember when it was over, um, I couldn't, because remember they told us that we were going to, you know, we had a, booked our flights to go to New York for the upfronts again. And like I was booking out time so I could go to New York because we were going to get picked up again. And, and then they pulled the rug out from underneath us. And um, I remember, because I had to clear out my room. And Are we still rolling? Yeah. yeah, we're still okay. Going. okay, yeah. I we did, I, when I I did clear out my room and... Were you in tears? Well, I was just in shock, you know, because it, it had gone on so long. I didn't clear my room out. I had somebody do it for me because I don't think I could. Well, see, I had to because I, taken it. I, need to, I, needed to, I needed to rip the Band-Aid off. And I remember, and I went in the stage when they were tearing down the sets. Oh. And I remember uh, Bobby Cardinal's going, Constance, don't go in there. Know, don't I, go in there. And I remember I, I saw was them like, taking Drew Carey's stage out to the trash. And I said, well... And I was still on, so I was like, I don't want that to happen to me. And yeah. I knew it was going to happen to me. Yeah. So when it was over, over, we shot some promos for the show was already not coming back. Yeah. And we were like at the last minute not coming back. But then we had to go in there and shoot some promos dressed as the way we used to Oh, dress. I remember. And took a picture of me and you holding hands walking down like the main aisle by craft oh. service. Oh, will you send that to me? Behind, yeah. 
Oh, well, yeah, it was, it, I needed to, I, it's it was almost like I needed to see the set be ripped down so I could wrap my brain man. around the fact that it was over. Yeah. Because otherwise. You just fucking throw it in the trash, man. It they is don't crazy. Even say like. It's like that episode of Seinfeld. It. When like, this is the Merv Griffin stage when they discover it in the dumpster yeah. and <laughs> like they Kramer do, sets it up in his house because he they, loved the show. They fucking threw that shit Every, in the trash. Everything. And I was taking shit. I was like oh, stealing yeah. as many things as you I was it. like, if it's just going to go in the trash, why can't I have it as momentum? and stuff and you know I, what I have what I have our kitchen table you do yep I've never seen it it's in storage in storage and I have our bedroom our master bedroom bed you do that's so crazy oh, wow. it's the same bed all the years do you know what I stole <laughs> well I had to get rid of it because it, it wasn't it wasn't sealed properly and rain got in and it's sad but you know the bulletin board that was on the side where I wrote the positive oh, messages yeah. every single episode she did I had that for the longest time, and then when I sold my house, hey, it she did. Roll, she used to write messages on the side of the refrigerator. She would write stuff. Yeah, positive and, messages. And nobody ever. Right? No, nobody. Oh, ever like just it. just for you guys. Just for like, us. Yeah, just for us. Oh, that's oh, that's okay. like you know, be the change, and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. the right, journey of a thousand change, miles yeah. starts with the first step. Pretty then, good. That was yeah, pretty good. Yeah. We didn't plan that. It was just there. And yeah. I don't think so. It was just no, there, No, right? it was just, it was like, the, uh, there was like random groceries on there, and I was like, yeah, screw it. Right now, listening to you two, you sound like. A couple that's been divorced that are just good friends now and reminiscing about <laughs> <it now. laughs> Like we had a real family. Mm-hmm. We did have a real that's family. exactly right. Yeah. We had good times. Yeah. It was awesome. We did uh, the Christmas parade. Oh, yeah. Oh, but I was mad. I never told you how mad I was. No. It said George Lopez and cast. Mm-hmm. Not oh, even wow. our names. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah you but the people knew you guys. George right? is the one that ordered the that's sign. <laughs> Monster Frame has no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, Not a paid uh, endorsement. <laughs> I didn't know that it said that. I, yeah, and then I was like, "Come on, okay, if we're gonna do this man. next year, next year, okay, I'm gonna have. We should have our names because it was Belita, yeah. I think Valente. But that was early on. Did you guys have names no, early on? Second year. You didn't have names yet. Cast. <laughs> well, go rub the wrong. Let it, let it go. Me. Let it go. That's She's me. still upset. No, no, let no, it no, go. No. <laughs> See, you gotta negotiate with your women because we don't forget. That's, no, that's right. right though. Anything. We remember second year cast. I remember the one we did. It, uh, <laughs> I was so pissed. When we went to Disneyland at the beginning, that was fun. Oh, <gasps> that episode with the Mickey Mouse. No, when we went there, the, the parade with it. They did all the oh, shows. Oh, that was that the were, best. Oh, man. That was the best. And we had to do what was it? There was a. You know, there was like a little Mickey theater or something, oh, you know, really? with a curtain and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And people would do a contest to do an actual scene from the show with me. They would play you, mm-hmm. they got to play George. Oh and it was goodness. the craziest yeah. thing that I'm doing a scene from our show with just some rando fan. <laughs> and you know who that fan was? Frank Gonzalez. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, his former I'll, I'll be at Disneyland with bar. a big whistle. Yeah. I love, I love <laughs> Disneyland so much. We had a good, we had a picture of us on the back of a car, mm-hmm. but she was on my back, like over my shoulder. One of my favorite pictures. Yeah, and you're Maybe. you because you know how he always does the. Yeah. The things, yeah. his poses and stuff, and so I'm over like. That's <laughs> right. a great picture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It looks super cute. That was amazing, and my family got to go. Yeah. Yeah, and they. That was awesome. Yeah, that those was, were the days that the the people from the shows were the people that were the most important, and not numbers or money or right. They don't yeah, do that right. shit anymore. Right. No, and I remember they wouldn't let us take a cart around Disneyland because they wanted us to intermingle with the fans, yeah. oh, yeah. and that was when that lady. Uh, the, one of the scariest times so I'm walking around you know and you have a, a guide getting you yeah, from you know because yeah. we had an itinerary of all these places we had to be and right. of course they're like that was fun. so far away in the park but some lady I walk past her and she screams at the top of her lungs and I'm terrified I thought something somebody got shot I don't yeah. know what the hell happened and it's this older heavier lady in a wheelchair stands up <laughs> out of the wheelchair <laughs> And bear hugs the crap out of me. And I'm like, and shit's hot. You know how hot it is at Disneyland? <laughs> she is all sweaty, and oh. I am in that. And I'm like, yeah. and I can't get out. I don't have security. She's like, oh, my God, I love you so much. And I'm terrified. <laughs> and this lady, wow. I, I was scared. So That's scared, insane. but but it's she miraculous. Was, she could walk. She was so I healed her. <laughs> <laughs> she was so moved by our show that she stood out of her wheelchair to give me a hug. It was so awesome. Hey, it's uh, there's an article what top 15 shows based in LA. Oh, Buzzfeed. 
nice to see that we were included. We're not included in most of the things, but it's yeah. nice to see that we were included. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, time to go. You got your beer buzz on? Everybody, everybody <laughs> ready on. to go? Uh, check out With Love, Amazon Prime, December 17th. As you watch love. Yes. Put it on your my list. Yes, on your watch, watch list. list. Watch, watch list. list. I'm going to do a whole on like, my watch list. talking people through how to do it. Yes. Cool.